Most of us these days like watching a good sparring match between two incredible fighters on platforms like UFC. Whether you're cheering for Khabib or Conor McGregor, what makes these fights so incredible is how they bring varying styles of martial arts into the sport. So ultimately, it doesn't just boil down to who is stronger, but how versatile a fighter is in different scenarios in a given fight. Similar fights happen in the animal kingdom as well, though it has to do more with survival and rivalry. Some of them might have an obvious winner, while others might take a surprising turn. Here are 12 of the greatest fights in the animal kingdom, and they're epic. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Number 12. Sperm Whale vs Giant Squid This one might sound close to a mythical fight, but it actually happens. Though the mythical kraken is nothing more than folklore, the giant squid is very much real. These highly elusive creatures are often found at the very depths of the ocean. As a result, they have been rarely photographed. However, the rivalry between giant squids and sperm whales is noted in the wild through evidence of battle scars on the body of whales. The scars often match the tentacles of the giant squid. People have also found digested body parts of the giant squid in the stomach of these whales, which is a clear indication that these two usually have a tussle with each other in the deep sea. Imagine a 49 to 59 foot long sperm whale taking on a giant squid. Clearly, they both put up a great fight with equal chances of either side winning. You definitely don't want to catch yourself swimming beside these giants. Number 11. Honeybees vs Asian Giant Hornets These two rivals might seem to have an obvious winner, but all is not what it seems. Honeybees vs Asian Giant Hornets is a fight you shouldn't miss. Why? Well, here's why. Physically, the giant hornets are way bigger and can easily kill 20 bees every minute. In search for food, these hornets wreak havoc and leave dead bodies of bees in their path. Sadly, the bees don't have much of a defense in terms of attacks, since the thick exoskeleton of the hornets cannot be pierced by a bee sting. But they do have one trick up their sleeve, cocking the hornets with heat. The swarm of bees surround the hornets and cook them alive by raising the temperature just by vibrating their bodies. The vibration of the muscle fibers of so many bees in a small area can produce heat of up to 170 in Fahrenheit. That's enough to kill off most of their predators. Needless to say, these poor hornets have no chance against these bees. What's left are these crispy, cooked hornets. Didn't expect that, did you? Number 10. Mongoose vs Cobra the deadly King Cobra is one of the most venomous snakes out there. Just seeing one in its classic striking pose is enough to strike fear in most people and animals alike. But even a ferocious King Cobra has a natural predator. The mongoose might not seem intimidating by its frame since they're usually no longer than 20 inches, but these creatures are not to be taken lightly. They are generally found in southern Europe, Africa and Asia and are known for their ability to tackle cobras. Though they are perfectly fine eating birds, mice, reptiles, insects and fruit, they do occasionally change things up and go after snakes. Thanks to specialized receptors, they're immune to snake venom. So a cobra can continue injecting poison into these fellas, but won't have any luck bringing them down. Their agility and thick coats make them an ultimate predator against king cobras and often leave the fight with a dead snake in their mouth. Pretty hardcore for a cute furry creature. Number 9. Archerfish vs Bug Meet the Archerfish, an expert archer in the world of animals. Found in Thailand and other regions of Southeast Asia, these aquatic archers have a unique ability when hunting for their meal. They spit out a jet of water that directly hits insects which are hanging on leaves or twigs near the water body. The jet of water pushes them off twigs and they end up falling into the water. The archer fish then quickly swallows them up. What's even more impressive is that this incredible fish calculates the refracted image on the water and corrects its aim accordingly to hit the insect precisely. End result? An almost guaranteed hit each time. Impressive little fish. Number 8. White Shark vs Killer Whale Back to the deep sea to witness another rivalry between two massive creatures. The fight between a killer whale and a white shark is that of titans. These animals are so huge that witnessing them on land would have given us a better perspective of size. But just to give you an idea, orcas or killer whales can grow up to 31 feet in length and can weigh as much as 12,300 pounds. That's a 6.15 ton animal. The white shark on the other hand is slightly smaller but a large animal nonetheless. They usually reach a length of 16 feet and weigh up to 2,200 pounds. 
Imagine these two monstrosities clashing in an underwater fight to the death. Not surprisingly, the white sharks have no chance against the titanic killer whales who are twice as big and many times as heavy compared to the sharks. Scientists have found that various killer whales go out of their way to hunt these white sharks and eat them for food. Killer whales seems like an appropriate name. Number 7. Mantis Shrimp vs Clam This colourful creature is called the Mantis Shrimp, although don't let its beauty fool you. They're also called Thumb Splitters since they're capable of producing painful gashes with their powerful club-like arm. Their striking force is infamous and it is their prime means of hunting. They use the club to attack prey like snail crab and they do it with such incredible speed and force. The shrimp will continue attacking the shell of the crab until it ruptures and then the shrimp feasts on the flesh. Sometimes this method of hunting can cause damage to their club arm which can ultimately leave them vulnerable and incapable of hunting again. So it's a risky business but it needs to be done for survival. Number 6. Python vs Alligator Here's a fight which can go either way. Though these pythons and alligators may not seem like they would get in each other's business, but nature is unpredictable and sometimes they do end up clashing. These pythons are known to reach up to 23 feet in length and can weigh as much as a grown man. They're pretty much pure muscle from top to the bottom, and getting into a conflict with them is never a good idea. As most of you already know, pythons kill their prey by crushing it to death, and sometimes they even prey on alligators. Alligators, however, are no easy prey since they can weigh up to a thousand pounds. What they do have in their favor is their incredible armor-like skin, which will prove difficult for the python. Since both have their own advantages, this fight can work for either of them, so they generally avoid each other whenever possible, but not always, as you can see here. Number 5. Elephant vs Rhino Wild elephants are animals that you should always avoid. They're incredibly strong and are generally unpredictable. Imagine a 14,000-pound elephant ramming into you head-on. There's no way you're surviving that. If there's one thing which can make these already dangerous animals even more dangerous, it's when they're going through something called the must period. During must, the male elephants become incredibly aggressive due to an increase in testosterone levels reaching 60 times higher than normal. Getting close to such an animal is definitely a suicide mission, since they get into uncontrollable rage and will trample anything in their way. Rhinos are one of the few who do stand up to them even during must if it means protecting their young. As you can see here, the mother rhino is courageously trying to fight off the aggressive elephant from attacking the calf. Unfortunately, the rhino had no chance against the massive beast and soon had to escape with her calf on her side. This was a losing battle from the start. At least both the mother and her calf are safe. Number 4. Dolphin vs Shark We all love dolphins. These highly social and intelligent friends of the ocean are adored by people all over the world. But once in high seas, they're usually hunted down by their main predators, sharks. In the wild, most dolphins have scars from shark attacks. Sharks have the advantage when it comes to strength, but dolphins, being social, have the advantage of numbers. Whenever under attack, dolphins in a pod coordinate and try to attack the shark together by ramming into them with their strong snouts. Eventually, with enough team effort, they manage to fend off the attack. As long as they stick together, their chances of survival are higher. Number 3. Polar Bear vs Walrus Polar bears reign the Arctic, and rightfully so. They're massive and can weigh up to 1.6 tons. Because of their size and strength, they are apex predators with no natural enemies except for other polar bears. When they hunt, they usually go for seals, but sometimes when food is low and the winters are harsher, they might opt for a more dangerous alternative. The walrus is not an easy prey since they're a lot bigger than seals and weigh about the same as polar bears. Using their massive bodies and their two long tusks, they can deliver a very devastating attack on the bear if not careful. Even though polar bears are apex predators, there have been instances where a walrus has overpowered and killed the bear. So this is one match which can truly swing in either direction, depending on the situation. Number 2. Lion vs Hyenas Since the lion is the king of the jungle, you'd think life for a lion in the wild should be fairly easy. With every other animal staying clear of this incredible feline, life should not be difficult, or so it would seem. But the truth is, the wild is called the wild for a reason. No one is truly safe, and apex predators like the lions are no exception. One of the most common rivalries that these cats have to deal with is the cackle of hyenas. 
This is how it usually goes down. Lions hunt down their prey and start eating it. A fresh kill then attracts the hyenas who most often depend on the kills of bigger animals like the lion. This leads to confrontation between the two. Lion with its strength and size can often deter the hungry hyenas, but if they have strength in numbers, even a lion won't stand a chance. So the king of the jungle doesn't win every time. Sometimes they can even end up becoming dinner to these hyenas. Before moving on to number one, here's a wild situation where an animal gets a bit too confident and ventures out of its usual terrain. The croc is clearly out of its element and gets pounced on by a tiger who has a greater advantage on land. Maybe it's always best to bring a fight to you than go look for one? The poor crocodile had no chance of beating this cat. Number one, ants versus termites. A lot goes unseen when it comes to the world of termites. Since they're mostly underground, we generally don't witness their day-to-day -day life. They put a significant amount of time and effort into building their mounds, with some of them taking up to five years to complete. With hundreds of crisscrossing tunnels beneath them, the home that the termites make for themselves is impressive in its own right. But they do, however, have one natural enemy. Ants are known to attack these mounds and hijack it to use as their own. In the process of taking over, they'll kill and eat any termite in their path. Unfortunately, the termites don't have much chance against the ants and usually are faced with a losing battle. Sometimes they do escape and manage to close off a portion of their colony from the intruders, but in most cases, termites lose to them. And that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed these epic battles that happen every day in the animal kingdom. Which was your favorite? Go ahead and let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to hit the like button, share and subscribe. See you later.